Let's see how we can find the derivative for the square root of x minus 1 over x to the fourth power plus 1. An easy way to do, an easier way I should say, is to use logarithmic. Let's see how can, let's see how can use logarithmic derivative. Let's see how can use logarithmic. Let's see how can use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative for y is equal to the square root of x minus one over x to the fourth power plus one. And the good idea is just. Let's see how we can use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative for y equals the square root of x minus 1 over x to the fourth power plus 1. And let's just go ahead and get to work. Let's take the natural log on both sides because this way we can simplify the expression on the right hand side. And we will also have to look at the square root as the one half power. So in fact, this is the same as saying ln of the whole thing, which is x minus 1 over x to the fourth power plus 1, and then raise that to the 1 over 2 power. So, depends on how you want to do it. You can bring the 1 half to the front first, or you can just put this on the top, put this on the top. Up to you. Perhaps it might be easier to just do it like this. I will put the 1 half on the top and 1 half on the top. It's like saying the square root on the top, square root on the bottom. So this is ln of x minus 1 and then the 1 half power over x to the fourth power plus 1 and then the 1 half power. All right. Okay, I'm going to write down the function right here again, ln y, and that's equal to. Now, here we have ln of the top, and you know the power can be in the front. So depends. If you feel comfortable, you can do two steps right here. Let's do that. So we will first have ln of this, which is x minus 1. And then it will be to the 1 half power, but the 1 half can go in the front. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put on the 1 half right here. And this is the quotient of the ln, right? The quotient inside of the ln. So it will be a minus ln of this, which is x to the fourth power plus 1. And again, raised to the one half power, but the one half power can go in the front thanks to the log property. So, whichever way that you want to do it, you can go from here to here, and that will be the simplification after the algebra. Then we can take the derivative by using implicit differentiation. So, let's put on the ddx and let's get started. Here we have L and y, so that will give us 1 over y times the derivative of y, which is dy dx, thanks to the chain rule. And then for this right here, we first have 1 half and we multiply by the derivative of this, which is just 1 over the inside x minus 1. Do we need to use the chain rule? Yes. We look at the inside and take the derivative of that, which is just 1. So we multiply by 1. Guess what? The chain rule doesn't matter in this case. Right, so just keep that in mind. And then we continue. We have the minus 1 half and then here we have 1 over that, which is x to the fourth power plus 1. And then this time, use the chain rule, the derivative of this is 4x to the third power. So that's pretty much all we have. And then we'll just multiply both sides by y, like the previous examples, like this, so that we can isolate the dy dx. And that's going to give us the dy dx on the left hand side. And uh, that will be equal to, the y is the original here. I'll just write it down one more time. So we have the square root x minus 1 over x to the fourth power plus 1. And then we'll just multiply these results. So for the first one, I'm going to have 1 over, I'm just going to keep it as 2, but this right here has two terms in this fraction. So we'll keep a parenthesis with x minus 1. Yeah, you can distribute if you would like, but this is okay as well. And then minus, for this, we can reduce. This is 1, this is 2. So on the top, we get 2x to the third power over just this, just this for denominator. So x to the fourth power plus 1. Hmm? Yeah. So that looks pretty good, and that's going for the day. Yeah, for this question only. <laughs>